YouTube, what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here, back on Total War Rome 2. And again, we are in the Parthia campaign, right where we left off after having captured Samandar. There's a bunch of buildings here that we certainly don't need, so I'm going to tear them down, and we'll start building in something more useful. Uh, now that we've captured the city, well, I was going to recruit a, a veteran up there, but I may go down here and do it, and get him to veteran up this sword army so that I have some really strong infantry. So let's do that, so that when the time comes, we can boost some military. That guy has a plus 20 military recruit or uh, training, and so does he. Let's see, assassination, single combat, bread and games. Uh, this guy's going to be better because he has extra campaign movement range, too. So we'll be able to embed him in that army on the next turn. Um, public order-wise, this site is doing pretty good. Makes me wonder. Food, public order... Yeah, I'll kind of wait before I upgrade those farms. I'm not dying for it right at the moment. I'm going to put this guy into his agent stance. And let's see, we can go ahead and keep training out units here. This army has plenty of cataphracts, so let's recruit some more armored horse archers. And that's going to be pretty much all the money I have for this turn, because I had to uh, spend it up here. We'll continue the training of that army on the next turn. This spy has ranked up. Those guys are still poisoned out. It's the same turn. Yep. So we are ready to end the turn. And then we'll head up there to Siracena next with one of my other armies uh, and just keep taking the fight to the Sumerians. It looks like... Um, These brazen fools deserve only Arakosia death. wants me to join the war general, against the Seleucids. Take the butcher's blade. Um, no doubt everybody hates the Seleucids and hurt me too bad to join that war, but I mean, I don't need to join that war right now. Not worried about it. I don't want to join any extra wars on the very hard difficulty that I just don't really need to join, because it's just going to risk me getting I hit when I don't need to be. Ask for an attack on these I am not going to attack Sardes. There's no point for it. Ah, an unwise, even foolish choice. But we respect your independence of <laughs> Those guys don't sound very happy about me thinking different than them. That's okay, because I can't say that I really care. Alright. I don't see any attrition zones in between me and this city, so I'm just going to start marching for it. And this army can keep moving up. Oh man, I forgot to dis uh, disband my uh, mercenaries. I wonder why my income went down so hard. Because I didn't disband my mercenaries. Let's military sabotage these guys again. I want to just give these guys a massive poisoning. I have succeeded, my lord. And another. I will call forth the power of the jinn. Only once they've soiled their garments with extreme diarrhea is air ready to take them. Look at that. Look what the poisoning's done to these guys. What was once a strong army. Uh, so now we will destroy them. And in fact, there's really no sense in even fighting this pathetic battle. I'll probably just get my general killed anyway. So let's take these guys out. And uh, we crushed the slave uprising, which is apparently what that was. The Sumerians must have been taking a lot of slaves. And so now that's been put down. I am going to go ahead and build a farm, and I'm going to go ahead and build uh, an animal breeder as well, just in case I need to re recruit some more horsemen. And this province should be under control, at least momentarily. Let's drop this guy into his agent stance. Okay, let's go back down here to our capital area, or main province. And now start military training here. Oh, I'm about to forget again. It's probably some of you watching the video like, Air, disband your mercenaries! I know. There they go. They're gone. Alright, got my income back. And let's see, we can take this army and keep uh, recruiting swords. Oh, sweet, we can get Parthian light archers now, too. I'm actually going to go with archers rather than slingers here. They're going to be more multi-purpose, so get rid of the slingers, and we'll start putting archers into this army, too. Well, I probably should have kept the slingers. Ooh, elite Persian archers. Man, screw the light archers. Yeah, we're going to be going with the elite Persian archers for sure. Um, so, man, I, there's just going to be a hail of arrows coming from just about every army I have at this point, which is, hey, that's this is Parthia, right? That's, that's what they do. Let's see. Noble horse archers? Oh, my gosh. That's looking good. Those guys are good in melee, too, but they do have a lot more upkeep. But then again, I can afford them, so... Hmm. 
Hmm. Definitely gonna get a few of these guys. Noble cause requires I don't have any more money for recruiting on this turn. Oh, actually I've recruited too many. Let's go ahead and ditch those guys because I need to check my buildings first. Make sure I get all my structure built. Get there. Okay, this is the one. Let's just go ahead and build another eastern city center. Might as well tap out all of our resources there. Ponto Caspia. Okay, now I have just a little bit of money left. Now we can go ahead and recruit um, another unit into this army if we want. Ready for orders. And I will bring in the noble horse archers. Okay, I think we are ready to end this turn once we upgrade the uh, children of Patchy. Uh, movement for light horse. Missile damage inflicted by archers. That sounds better. Melee attack skill for heavy cab is good. And then we'll go down the strategist tree. I want to open up night battles on as many generals as I can, because again, in the, in the more difficult gameplay, it's always a good idea. So far, though, it's going really well for us. I mean, I definitely got run around pretty ragged at the beginning of this campaign, but right now we're in fantastic shape. Uh, it's not to say that it couldn't change quickly with a few unfortunate factors. Oh, that is a pretty large Sumerian army moving down there, too. Not too far away from my home province, actually, so we should definitely focus on getting that army finished. Yeah, that Sumerian army is down here at Gazaka, so we could actually go assault them once this army is ready, because we don't want Media Atropatne to get wiped out by him as well, and it looks like the Sumerians are going strong right now. But I think Persia hates them as well, so that'll, that'll be a benefit for me. Alright, I'm going to come back over here and unlock the Eastern Major Field. And let's take these guys, um, the Heralds of the Fire of Celerity. These guys are the ones I wanted to change their name, I think. Some of you told me what Celerity means, too. The Heralds of Patchy of Celerity. Ah, oh, come on. How come they get to type in long names and I don't get to? Well, whatever. They're just going to have to be the Heralds of Patchy at this point. All right. So, got that taken care of. A huge, important change to be made there. Just kidding, of course. I don't need a ton of swordsmen. I'll just keep the six. Um, I want to get a bunch of elite Persian archers. I say a bunch. I probably don't need a ton of them either. I'm going to have horse archers. Yeah, we'll just kind of play it by ear. I'll get at least uh, four of those dudes. Mess with them more on the next turn. Let's snag another noble horse archer up here. And let's check out my building scenario. Um, might as well upgrade. Ooh, actually, the public order up here. Well, the public order is about to stabilize. Um, I don't really have a huge reason to upgrade that, though, and cause it because I don't have any wars going on there at the moment. So probably not a big deal. Food for public squalor. I don't have the buildings to offset that public squalor just yet. So let's hold off. We can upgrade this wrestling arena to a polo pitch. And we're fine everywhere else. Okay. So looks like Pontus is up here just to our north as well. So we're not too far from being at war with them. So things are probably about to get interesting again. Looks like we're going to face down the Sumerians and Pontus. Uh, two factions that I really haven't fought against, I don't think, too much in any of my campaigns yet. I may have fought against them in my Carthage campaign, I can't remember. I know I fought against the Sumerians in the Carthage campaign, but I can't remember about Pontus. Ooh, Media Atropatne just got hit by the Sumerians, I think. I propose, or they now want a defensive alliance, um, which I will take. With your I do want to help defend them. I don't need Samaria gaining any more potential ground against me. Those other armies I have now are actually going to come in handy. I can no longer trade with Media Atropathene either. But we're going to start putting the herd on the Samarians here. Their city is wide open for the taking here. And we're going to do so. Um, no need for me to fight that one in person either. Just take these guys out. Octopi. Have some nice chevronage going on here from the uh, the veteran that was in that army. Let's see, we can upgrade the farms here now. We can upgrade. Let's see, I have a heavy horse stud. Um, 
back in, it's all the way back in that province. So let's do a light horse stud in case I need more horse archers. Uh, we're going to tear down that farm there. I know it gives me more food, but it also has the public squalor issue, so let's tear it down. Build that structure. Probably could use some eastern influence because the royal Scythians are in the area. And I'm going to need to counter the step influence that's going to be present, which will cause morale penalties in my uh, provinces. There's a large Sumerian force here, but I should be able to defend myself with what I've got here. I think they're going to be a more infantry-focused faction. Whereas I think we should go ahead and um, push south and try and take uh, Gabala with one of these armies. And this army could get there quicker. Uh, I'm going to need to recruit mercenaries, though. Let's send a spy ahead to do some scouting. Looks like there's good roads in this vicinity because we've got to move all the way ahead. Um, no big worry at Gabala. This army can't quite reach them anyway. And I can always hire some mercenaries if I need to. But I'm going to wait. I don't want to hire them just yet. I mean, I can always retreat if I looks if it looks like I'm about to get overrun. Let's send one spy this way to support this army. Leave my agent here to spread uh, our own cultural um, own cultural influence. Let's see. This army here needs to continue to be trained. My uh, veteran just ranked up. Unlock zeal and get him even more unit training abilities. All right. Get this army. I've got enough swords. That's probably enough archers for now. I got some heavy cav. Let's go ahead and bring in some uh, Parthian horse archers. Huh? That's the best horse archer I can bring in at the moment, it looks like. So I'll just do that. Bring in some Parthian horse archers. They start off with three chevrons, which is pretty handy too. So we got the Parthian horse archers coming in. Let's bring this army down towards Hec Hectomopolis. However you say that. Ooh, don't trespass on them, actually. There we go. I'm going to have to bring them around the long way to make sure that they don't trespass. And it looks like there's some uh, unseasonal conditions uh, causing attrition in that province, so I just got away from it. So that's good. Flaming sacks of crap need to rank up. And we can now unlock night battles, which would be good. And then I'll unlock dread on the next one. Trade agreement dissolved. Okay. Let's check my... I don't have enough money left for any buildings, so hopefully I don't need to build any. I do not. Alright, end the turn. Let's see what happens here. How well, or how strong is Ponce? I wonder if the uh, Royal Scythians... Let's see where their loyalties lie. We are much alike, and so. And they want a the non-aggression pact. I can agree to that. To a treaty between us. I'm not interested in a war with you right now. We I don't really need to join the war against the Seleucids because I can't fight them right now anyway. Okay. One of my statesmen has recovered from his wounds. There's some desertion. But that's all handled now, so we should be fine. Zadrakarta, let's get it garrisoned in case the Sumerians lash out. Oh, look, this army at Raga is under some attrition. My army here isn't quite ready to take them on, but if we were to snag a few mercenaries, that situation might change. I do have swordsmen, I have a few heavy cav. To be honest, if we just uh, brought in some Parthian horse archers real quick just to give me the extra missile capability. Uh, let's just bring those guys in and let's attack the Sumerians here. So they have a whole bunch of militia hoplites and slingers. Uh, nothing I shouldn't be able to handle here. Let's fight them. I have swordsmen to handle their militia hoplites and I have plenty of cavalry to knock out all their, their slingers. This should be an easy win. If I sat around and let their slingers shoot me, it would be bad. So that's what I need to make sure it doesn't happen. They sallied out, which again should help me. Just take my swords in a straight line charge at their hoplites. And then I'll take my cab immediately around the flanks. Start our deployment. 
Okay, Parthian Swordsman. Huh, I guess the deployment bug still works in campaign. Okay, no need to keep those guys on skirmish. Median Cav on this flank. Uh, Cataphracts on this flank. Uh, I'm gonna just put all my mercenary horse archers on this flank. And all my Parthian horse archers on this flank. So I just got a wide enveloping line. I can hit these guys with a hard group. And let's just move forward. Okay. Got all my men moving forward. Let's fast forward for just a second. This will be a big victory over the Sumerians putting down one of their armies. It's not a very good army, but um, it'll be a victory nonetheless taking some of their guys out of commission. And I am going to need to act fast. Like, albeit they just have crappy hoplites, it is on the very hard setting. AI is going to be getting some pretty serious buffs. Um, it's something for me to be keenly aware of and to not ignore. Okay. Overhead here, yeah, I got a nice enveloping line going. Okay, let's move my men in and get their slingers firing. The sooner their slingers start firing, the sooner I can get my own cab to work on these guys. I'm gonna hard group those guys. Get those guys out of a group. Okay. Get my Medean cab moved up. My own horse archers are going to trade fire with theirs over here. I'll easily win that. Their slingers are opening fire as expected. Here come my mercenary horse archers. I just want to push their slingers back with my swords before I issue this order. There they go, getting pushed back. Our general is under attack. Let's get them fixed. Back here. Alright. What happened to my Median Cav? Back up here, boys. Alright, it's time to go take out the enemy slingers. My Persian archers. I can get them firing as well. Let's keep my cataphracts clear of any of their spearmen. Let's just line up my horse archers over here. I've got the uh I've got the AI in a very good position. My swordsmen are doing just fine. My Persian archers are slaughtering a bunch of their slingers. And there's another group of their slingers here about to just get massacred. And then my horse archers are hammering their general unit of citizen hoplites. So, yeah, this is very quickly going to turn to my favor. No even no point in me firing on my own men. Okay, yep, the Sumerian forces are just getting absolutely shot to pieces. Again, just no hope. Let's get some rear charges going here. Let's see if we can watch the Sumerian forces just absolutely break here. Painful Parthian heavy cab charges. No hope for their men at this point. And they are going to be slain, just utterly slain. All right, so that's going to be the end of that battle. Quick and decisive victory. Um, again, they had a very poor army for countering. I mean, this is how strong these Parthian armies can be against infantry heavy armies. And now that I've got these swordsmen, it makes them even stronger because their infantry has to focus on mine, all the while just getting absolutely shot to bits on the flank. Um, they just, they will not have a chance on the flank with all that horse archer fire. And then, of course, you're going to have to worry about cataphracts and no blood cav, all these other strong units roaming about that are not easily killed. Um, even by the units that have a lot of buffs on, the, on, the, on this difficulty setting. So, I don't know what kind of army the AI has at Ekbatana. So, I think I will keep these mercenaries here just for one turn to make sure that they don't do like a quick counter charge at me while I don't have the men to defend it. And um, otherwise, we should be fine. Okay, the children of Patchy now have their movement available to them. Let's bring the spy up just again. Let's scout the scout the area, make sure there's nothing to be uh, concerned with, which I don't. So let's start moving towards, uh, however you say that, Mesheka or Mesheta. 
Yeah, I don't know how to say If you all know how to pronounce that, let me know. That'd be interesting to know. And then let's take this army and hit them at Kabbalah. So the Sumerians putting up a very poor defense at this point. Um, not a whole lot that they can do about this hard wrap-up that I'm giving them. So probably gave them more kills there than they deserved, but not going to be much they can do to stop me. My my uh, prestige just level or my Imperium just leveled up, which means I should be able to recruit more agents. Let's check that real quick. I ah oh man, I can't. Still limited on agents. I need to find some enemy agents to convert. Um, that'd be super helpful because I need more of these uh, champions. I mean, look what these guys are doing. Look at the chevrons on all these guys. So that's what I'm talking about. Okay, this army here is poised to potentially take out this Sumerian army that's uh, ripe for ambush. These mercenaries I will disband at the end of the turn. Let's use our spy to soften these guys up a little bit. Okay, now that they've been dutifully poisoned, <coughs> let's go catch them in ambush and destroy another Sumerian army, and we'll do a night attack just for fun. Let's fight it on the battlefield. They do have a ballista that I'm going to want to deal with, and they have some heavy hoplites. So I'm going to have to be careful. I can't charge the heavy hoplites. I can easily shoot them to death, but I'm going to watch for an opening uh, to get my... In fact, I could sacrifice those um, horsemen that I just hired. Here's the uh, Sumerian troops down here. And then here's my troops up on the hillside. I get to deploy them. Someone said they added torches, but sometimes I see torches, and sometimes I don't see torches in the units. Um, whatever. It's not a big deal one way or the other. Okay. Let's get my slingers into a good firing position. This hill blocks the slingers' firing position. Uh, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'll just start my slingers right there. Armored horse archers on this side. And then Parthian horse archers on this side. And then my general. It's a little bit beat up, so we'll hold them in reserve. And then mercenary Scythians can come to the front of the column. So let's show the mercenary Scythians. Let's move up my slingers. Put these horse archers to fire on the rear of their column. And then let's bring my horse archers to bear on their column as well. Our hidden unit basically, we'll just start hammering the enemy with skirmish fire. All my units are skirmish capable, so should be just fine. Again, I'm going to keep my general at a very safe distance so I don't forget about him because he's not skirmish capable. Just slingers there. I'm going to charge them out. And there's nothing to stop me from charging these the ballista. Where do I have men wavering? Oh. They have some horsemen that caught some of my slingers here. Whatever. I get the slingers back. Not really worried about that. We're skirmishing down all the enemy cav back here. And we managed to take their ballista. I'm going to need to get away though because they're reinforcing with... Um, Pop lights now. So get away, get away, get away. We're gonna have to shoot the hop lights to death. They've got some citizen cab wreaking havoc on me over here. I'm gonna come try and deal with them. I could probably pull my general out of hiding for that. Is that another citizen cab roaming around? There it is. AI is gonna get some kills on me. But if I'm just patient, my guys will skirmish them out. And that is definitely the case at the moment. Our general is under attack. So, okay, we've got that citizen cav there, and I've managed to catch their citizen cav here. But they're about to be reinforced by two units of hoplites. So my general really needs to get out of there. I may get him killed again. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Yep, we're just gonna get away from the enemy hoplites. At this point, we should start to be able to hunt down the enemy hoplites. Um, I've got plenty of ammunition. Even got all my slingers, too. Well, I have all my slingers, but their stupid citizen cab keeps playing bait and retreat with my, my slingers, which is actually the right move. 
Let's uh, just come over here and help finish off all these Sumerians first. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. We really need to get their citizen cab on its own and destroy it with my cataphracts, but their stupid hoplites are following right behind. Get my slingers away from those hoplites. Let's see what's happening back over here. We're just yeah, we're just kind of slowly picking apart their their troops on this side, so we're doing good. And I should be able to single out their citizen cab finally. Yeah, their citizen cab's gonna get. Well, I say that citizen cab will do actually better now that it's prolonged melee, but they keep running away from me. So that'll probably be their undoing. And then over here, these hoplites are chasing my slingers. They're gonna get picked apart. And I just need to keep picking apart these hoplites. Just get all my units within range so that they can skirmish on their own and continue shooting the hoplites to death. Got plenty of ammo with my slingers. We've mopped up the enemy citizen cab that actually did quite a bit of damage to me. Alright, once we finish mopping up the uh, remaining Sumerian units in this sector, we'll bring all our horse archers spare. Look at these hoplites, just get shot to bits. It's enough to almost make you feel sorry for them if I cared, but I don't. Okay. Our men flee the field of battle. Where are my men this fleeing is the field of battle? Display. Is there a unit up here I don't see? Huh. Not sure why my men are fleeing the field of battle. Okay. Like, oh, there's a Sumerian unit right there in the woods that I couldn't see. Citizen hop whites that are going to get thrashed with a lot of archer fire too. Man, what a nightmare, getting chased around at night by hordes of horse archers, nowhere to run. Nightmare for them, that is. Not so much for me. Let's get my slingers where they don't go against the red line. Same thing here. Gotta keep the pressure on, on these hoplites. And it looks like we shot out the uh, Sumerian general. Now I'm just wasting ammo. And their last units are starting to, to rout. So we were able to basically just shoot apart the Sumerians, even in the forest, which is which is good. The enemy general is dead. Um, and let's continue for just a moment. Just uh, let my guys finish shooting the remaining Sumerians. Could just as easily run them down, but why not shoot them? <laughs> These guys are just under an absolute barrage of missile fire. <laughs> Listen to you can just hear it and see it like pouring in from everywhere. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, these these guys uh, definitely getting eaten up. Pretty soon they'll be a, a non-factor. Okay, that is going to be the end of the Sumerian Hoplites, so let's quit the battle. So you can see how, the again, the heavy infantry suffers, and all I lost there, and they were some good slingers, but um, that's all I lost was slingers. They're replaceable, um, so we'll, we'll figure that out. But anyway, that's going to be all the time I have for this episode, so I'd say that was a pretty successful push in this episode against Sumeria. We've gained a lot of territory, and we've gained it quickly. Now we're going to need to defend it and hold it, um, so that we can use it to continue to, to boost our economy and uh, our expansion, basically. Yeah, they got away with one hoplite unit and a citizen cab, unfortunately. Kill the captives and send those guys packing. So, anyway, Air of Carthage signing off for now.